gonna be honest here and tell you that I haven't been very good with counting my calories and only eating what I'm supposed to. Hundred and forty calories. Whoops. It's Monday. We start the day off with more of what we were doing yesterday. Laundry. We're almost done though. It's the last load. After this load's done and we dry it, we're off to Fort McMurray, Alberta. One dollar. Cool. And it accepts tunies? Okay. So this is two dollars. Alright. Coca-Cola. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, start the day off right. Know what I'm saying? This is not an ad. Hashtag not an ad. Give me my quarters. I want to get something from here now. Breakfast of champions. Hmm. Huh. I'm thinking maybe Reese. No, I better not. I'm already having a full-fledged Coke. I forgot I should have gotten the Diet Coke. How many calories are in this thing? 140 calories. Whoops. I'm going to be honest here and tell you that I haven't been very good with counting my calories and only eating what I'm supposed to. I've been overeating a little. I've been indulging this weekend quite a bit. I've gone over my calories at least three days in a row by quite a bit. So I've got to be careful or that thing's going to make a reappearance. You know, it's going to make a comeback. As a truck driver, I sit for a living, so I have to make sure that I'm very careful how much I eat. Otherwise, things can get out of control really quickly. I have a pretty good metabolism, so I'm very lucky, but still not perfect. Still gotta watch what I eat. almost forgot what real coke tasted like. Just got back in here, just taking off my, my walking shoes. It's just under an hour long that we walked. I got the AC just cranked in here now. Cool this place down real fast. So I burned 329 calories walking four and a half kilometers or just under uh, three miles. So if you think about it, 140 of those calories was just from that coke that I had before. I only burned 329, so almost a little over a third of that entire hour of walking was just for that one can of Coke. Is it worth it? You be the judge. That's why, that's why I don't drink a lot of pop anymore. We're just merging onto the south perimeter around Winnipeg right now. Beginning the journey west. We'll go up through Saskatoon, through Edmonton, and uh, drive 33 kilometers on Highway 100 West, and up towards Fort McMurray. Actually, I don't know if we're going through Edmonton, but we will be going through Saskatoon. I, I want to make it at least to Saskatoon tonight, if possible. It's about nine hours from here. From there, I can make it to Fort McMurray in one day easily. Guys, okay, driving with no shirt on in a convertible. highlights all the bugs on the windshield again but that's okay better than snow so I'm in western Manitoba right now that's above western North Dakota I believe 
and across into the province of Saskatchewan and make our way up towards Alberta on the other side of that. It's going to be a flat, boring kind of day just like this. I stopped in Brandon for a nap. It was really weird because I, I was feeling extraordinarily hungry when I began this trip and I left Winnipeg. Stopped for a good supper and got back on the road and about an hour, hour and a half later I was so tired I could barely keep my eyes open. So what do you do when you're you're on the road and you're tired? Well, you pull over and you get some rest. So I stopped for a two-hour nap. I was fortunate that my hours of service uh, allowed me to do that today. So I stopped there and now I'm feeling a lot better. A lot better. I am ready for this day now. I would still like to get up to Saskatoon. Three hours will be in Regina, and about another two and a half to three in Saskatoon, so about six hours. That'll bring us up to about midnight central time. Saskatchewan's on mountain time right now because they don't switch hours of service. Pardon me, they don't switch daylight savings time, not hours of service. Gonna be a good day. Flying J, Balgoni Baloney. Baloney Balgoni. Balgoni, Saskatchewan. Just stopping in here for a quick little break. Like I said, I still want to get up to Saskatoon tonight. And we're just east of Regina, which is south in Saskatchewan. Gotta go a little further north yet. So let this guy do his thing here. Oh, that guy's pulling out right now too. Oh, that's not very good timing. Okay, he's gonna wait for me. Alright. I have the same luck too, you know, whenever I want to move, that's when everybody else decides they want to move too. <laughs> and it's a big kerfluffle. So I'm not going to grab fuel just yet. I'm just going to get something to eat and get another coffee. Uh, I'm going to wait a little ways, go down the road before I grab fuel. I'm still good. I'm just below a half tanks half tanks right now. I should be good, but I am starving again. I was hungry before and then I got tired and now I'm hungry again. Hopefully I don't get tired right away again. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm so hungry. So I went with the wings. 12 wings. I was going to get 13, but they only had 12 left there, 12 available. So they charged me for 9, but gave me 12. 1,068 calories worth of wings in my belly. I went a little bit over again today. Only 200 calories over, so I can't have anything else to eat today. That is it. No more food. And only water for the rest of the day. It was so good though. Up right to Highway 6 North, then keep right. It's totally worth it. Going through Regina here, just on the north side, we're going to turn up on the 11. To Highway 6 North. She said 6, but she means 11. We're going to go up Highway 11 towards Saskatchewan. meters take ramp on right to highway 11 north told you told you you meant highway 11 i know more than you mandy i've driven this road way more times than you i think okay we're in davidson i almost said davidson wisconsin davidson saskatchewan we're pulling into the so here we're gonna call it a night I'm tired. It's midnight central time. And I can't get around this corner. One second. They didn't make this corner nearly wide enough. There we go. See? That's what mirrors are for. 
See, if I didn't know how to use my mirrors, I might end up on the Twisted Trucker's Facebook page there with my trailer in the ditch. I think they're missing parts of their sign there. I'm not too sure what that's supposed to say. Something parking. We're just going to assume that it's supposed to say truck parking. head over here to the back of their lot and find us a spot to park. I've never actually spent the night at this truck stop before, but I have stopped here. Remember we discovered there's a Tim Hortons here not too long ago? That'll be very handy in the morning. I'm going to park along the fence here off on the left, just in front of that other truck there. So that means I got to go around everybody this way. And then come in in front of him there. That'll be perfect. No neighbors. amazed though at how uh, if you have a gravel parking lot with no parking lines it seems that people just are completely unable of parking straight or taking up just as much room as they need you know everyone's all over the place all crooked and whatever just pull in the lot pull the brakes good to go just send it you know just whatever I'm going to leave that guy alone over there. He's obviously wanting to be all by himself in the corner back there. There's actually quite a bit of space at the back of the lot here. Maybe I'll park back here instead because then I don't have all that, that dust of all the passing trucks. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to park right here. All off by myself. This, this parking lot is so dusty. Right up to this guy, and then we'll back him. There we go. Nice and straight. Now, it really is hard to tell if you're parked straight in these parking lots, like I said. Probably why a lot of people just park crooked, because they don't get out and look. I'm going to get out of the truck now and actually take a look at my truck to see if I'm actually straight and lined up with the back of the parking lot, or if I'm parked like this, taken up too. And if that's the case, I'm going to pull forward and straighten myself out. You going to come help me, Diesel? I need your opinion to see if I'm straight here. Come on. Now you, you tell me if I'm crooked, okay? Let's go this way. Be careful, there's a wire fence back there. It's gonna run right into it, isn't he? Oh no, he saw it, okay. So this trailer that I have here, like I was showing you yesterday, has these big super single tires on here, eh? It's been a very nice trailer to pull, actually. I don't know if this, uh, these tires have anything to do with how smooth the ride is. I honestly don't know if that makes a difference, but it has been a very smooth riding trailer. All right, are we straight here or what? Uh, you know, looks pretty straight to me. I think we're pretty good. I guess my eyeballing skills, my eyeballing ability isn't too bad. Yeah, we got in here nice and straight with no lines. Imagine that. It's possible. <laughs> and we got our neighbor over here who is quite a ways away, so. If he does idle through the night, he won't be disturbing me or anything. Let's go see who's on the other side of me over here. Then our neighbor is quite a ways over there as well, you can see. But they're both not idling, and I don't idle it either, so... We should be good to go. Should be a nice quiet night. I'm just gonna wait for the weasel to finish up his business over here. Hey, Diesel! How's it going over there? That means it's going really good. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, good boy. Hey, where are you going, man? You want to say goodbye to everybody? We're going to end the vlog now. I'm busy. I am very busy. I'm businessman over here taking care of business. Well, thanks for watching my video today. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, Trucker Josh Vlogs, here on YouTube. If you like the video itself, hit that like button on the YouTube page. It does me a, a lot of favors and whatnot with the YouTube algorithms, I, and it makes me feel good inside knowing that you like what I put together for you. There will be another video tomorrow, Monday to Friday, our regular videos. Saturday and Sunday, I check in with you on updates if you're new. We'll see you in the morning.